Uh, cities, we are going to continue to track it. A lot of summer like temperatures today, but the other big story that we've been tracking is Hurricane Francine still in the Gulf of Mexico this morning, but expected to make landfall later on today, especially this afternoon and evening could make landfall as a category two storm. As we get into the next 24 hours, though, it quickly makes its track off to the north. And then by early Friday morning, it'll start to push into southeastern Missouri. The big question is, do we see any rain come out of this? Well, a lot of the rain is going to remain to our south and east. That's likely because this system is going to interact with a couple other systems around our area and kind of continue to keep it limited just to the south and east of us. That doesn't mean that we aren't going to see no rain. But we could see a couple of light showers by the time we get to Friday. Could introduce a couple more on Sunday. But again, these rain chances just don't look impressive. It'd be nice to actually see a much better chance of rain. But looking at future track for today, we're going to be in the mid to upper 80s. So summer like sunny skies going into tonight. We stay clear and quiet temperatures in the mid to upper 50s and then heading into Thursday, basically hitting copy and paste. We'll start out with a bit of sunshine, but clouds will begin to creep in by Thursday night, and that's going to be those remnants from Hurricane Francine, which also does push in a little more humidity. So we stay comfortable. So the heat's going to be tolerable for today and tomorrow. We'll back off temperatures heading into the weekend, but we definitely do boost the humidity. So you're going to feel it, but a a bit more as we head into the weekend, but temperatures do stay in the low 80s, at least through Sunday. We'll see clouds kind of continue to linger around through much of the weekend as well. Again, could see another rain chance on Sunday and then we'll dry skies out. Keep temperatures in the 80s for the first half of next week.